Hey everyone! Have you ever found yourself stuck in a career you hate for years but repeatedly convinced yourself I'll find a new job eventually? Or maybe you've stayed in a toxic relationship, just hanging in there by telling yourself things will get better? That was me. Avoiding the truth that I was unfulfilled and making excuses to stay complacent. Today, we're going to explore why we do this, how it affects our lives, and how to break the cycle. I'm a life coach who helps people overcome avoidance coping strategies. For too long, I avoided risks and stagnated in my own life until I developed the courage to change. You have that power within you too. We'll share examples, ask tough questions, and give you practical advice to empower real change. Chapter 1, The Problem with Avoidance Coping Ask yourself, did you pass up opportunities or stay too long in jobs, relationships, or situations that didn't fulfill you? Avoidance coping strategy might help you feel better the moment you confront an uncomfortable situation. But if you never take action to address the real problem, the future is going to look a lot like the present. Have there been times you avoided discomfort only to feel worse later? Break the cycle now before your situation feels unchangeable. Chapter 2, Why It's Hard to Change and the Role of Self-Efficacy We use avoidance coping when we feel powerless, but it's a vicious cycle. The more we avoid, the less control we feel. However, avoidance coping strategies are related to self-efficacy. It's important to understand where they originate from. Low self-efficacy may stem from childhood experiences. For example, if your parents were always telling you what to do without really listening to you, you may have felt like you had no choice. Over time, you may have convinced yourself that you don't care. Your beliefs about yourself aren't fixed, you can reframe them. Develop a growth mindset, believe you have the strength within to change. Ask yourself, have you avoided facing issues only to have anguish resurface later? How did taking action feel compared to avoidance? Chapter 3, Building Your Self-Efficacy and Changing Strategies Let's reframe avoidance urges. One way to do that is by developing a growth mindset. Here's an example, let's say you don't like dealing with pushy people. Instead of just accepting that as a fact about yourself, you can tell yourself something like, okay, I know there is a schema for avoiding interactions with pushy people in my mind, but this doesn't mean that I'm unable to adapt to the environment. Do you see the difference? Instead of labeling yourself as a certain type of person, you can recognize this tendency as a behavior pattern that you can adjust. If you keep telling yourself this and start acting on it, you'll slowly start to feel more flexible. Change is challenging but have self-compassion. Focus on progress, not perfection. Don't dwell on mistakes. With practice, the new mindset can become second nature. Eventually, your coping strategy will change altogether. Reflect, what will be your first step to overcoming avoidance coping? Now is the time to begin your new journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more empowering content. If you want a more detailed explanation of overcoming avoidance coping, click on the link in the description. Thank you for watching.